Hey everybody. To show you what I'm doing. I thought I'd show a video of what I'm doing. What I am doing today is I'm working on a project. I want to make a reading, um, like a little, one of those little library things to go out in front of my house. And I've taken a planter. This is a large planter unit I built. Let me show you. I built this planter. It's on its side right now. And I've sealed it up a little bit. And I have put cement board on all four sides. And then I've taken broken tile. This isn't broken. But this is, I got this at the, for like three bucks, a big bucket of this, you know, big thing of this. It's just a little tile. Some of it is small. It was just used in, um, how do I say this? In our area, there's a store, and most of you probably have stores like this too, that will like take in things instead of having it thrown in the trash, they recycle it and they put it there and people can buy it for a really big discount. So I like to, of course, take advantage of that if I can. So I have a whole bucket of tiles and broken pieces that I've collected over the years. I say pretty much everything. Here's a cup. <laughs> and um, it's got a really pretty pattern on it. Maybe I'll use this handle and put it in, use it for something and just use the handle part. Um, I've got all kinds of things. There's broken pieces of plates and things that are not quite the right size. I've got to figure out a way of getting so I can trim these. I've tried, I don't want to use a big machine because they don't really do well with little teeny tiny pieces like this. But I've gone to the dollar store, or gone to the Goodwill and taken pieces from there. And some of this is just broken. Like this is a pot of, I had different pieces left over from other projects. This was a, I believe it was a plate. Some of you can see are definitely plates. This was this is a plate set I have in the house. My mom had left me and it broke. Then over here I have some plates. Ooh, milk duds! <laughs> that have broken. I'll use them for something. Pieces. Oh, I love this set. I had this set of dishes and they're just about at its end. But I'll be able to use this somewhere. Very pretty. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I thought these will be perfect. These will be perfect to write with. And I'm going to write something here. And then I've drawn a little line up here. I don't want any higher than this. I'm just making it up. I'm just nothing fancy. I'm putting them together and I'll double them here. Make everything double. This is done. I've put this on. Put a little explanation point so it would make it nice and even. So these little guys are from people's projects like this, you know, where you have them all put together and they're all made together. These are perfect for me to have for little um, fiddly bits. And I don't really care about the size, the height difference, because some of these are very narrow compared to things that are taller. I don't really care if it's sticking out or not. It's not like I'm going to use this for any kind of eating on. Here's another example. This is also at the place and so somebody would have used this for um, trim or something in a bathroom or a kitchen or a floor and they have this matting on the back I just pull them off here's some samples that were these are little samples of trim so I break these there's another one so this isn't really all that hard. It's, if it's only this is the kind of project is only good for people who are okay with not having things precise. If you are a perfectionist and really like things to be measured and um, really in great, really great, this is not your project. It is it is totally not going to work for you. So it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, but you're making it up as you go along. So I'm putting these on, and I just use this mastic stuff. I just went to the store and got some more. Just it's um, just a tile adhesive. I just bought some 
simple set. Just bought some of that. It's ready to use. I like it that way. And then, then you just start putting them on. You just put a little on. You squeeze them in. And you push them down and let them dry. I'm going to do these next. And then, then they get grouted. And how I'm going to do that is I have some leftover Snow White grout. It doesn't matter if it's sanded or not. Not in this. Not for a project like this. I'm not walking it or, or anything like that. And you just take a little bit out, and then you put it in a cup with a little bit of water and mix them up. I don't measure it or anything. It's just like you just pick a, a little bit and you add a little bit more, take a little out, add a little more water, whatever it is, to get it to it. So it's like a kind of like a pudding pudding kind of thing maybe a little more than a pudding <laughs> and so I'm going to use the white grout and push it around around these edges here if I make it nice and not not too liquidy then I can push it in with my fingers and push it around here and let it dry just keep pushing it on I mean in theory you could put like a cardboard or something up against it or tape and, and let it dry on each side like that so it has more of a defined look. But oh, I don't really care. I could use a piece of more tile like this. Oh, that's not gonna work really well. You put it on like maybe like that, and then you put the tile in there. You put the you put the um, grout in here. And let it go against here. Let it set for a little bit and then take it out and maybe move somewhere else. Like maybe here on the R. You could just kind of put it right up against there so it has a little bit of a white trim around the outside. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. And then, now I could do this at the same time or I could do this at a different time. Then you're taking broken pieces and you're going to make them big or small, whatever you have that you want to use. And you just kind of play with it like, like I say with a jigsaw puzzle. This has a really precise edge. And I am going to, I could go all the way down here and fill this up. Or I could just leave it to here. It doesn't really matter. I don't, nobody's going to care. The edge probably at the top is the most important. And I could cover this up with some sort of, um, let me go around the other side so you can see. So I can put it right up to there. And then I'm going to put grout and just kind of just shove it with my finger right over here to go on here. Because hopefully there's going to be plants growing over the edge. So it's not going to really matter. And then you put these in. These broken pieces, dark colors. However, like maybe, no, that doesn't look right. I can break it off a little bit or I can... I can play around with however I want it to look. And he wanted, at least I wanted about that much. So not large as amount. Here maybe, and put this here. And like I said, it doesn't matter to me that it's a little lower than the other. See? And here's a nice piece of a red. I like bright colors and I like um, darkish colors. If I need to break it off. And I, see how it's got a little edge of white around the outside? I don't really care. So maybe like that. I don't want them too high. See, that has a lip on it. and I have to cut that down somehow. So just broken pieces that have been around. A nice green piece. That was a plate. See, it has a nice round on it. Maybe I'll use that. Like in there, because it's round. Like that. What else is in here? I don't want to use light pieces because I want the dark and the light to be totally different. You know, I want to really have them stand out. Here's another piece. This is this is um marbleized. There might be a little mastic or something on there. Put it back in here. That. 
Like I said, I have to glue this down first before I start on the dark pieces. And I got these tiles also at the store. Sometimes you can go to stores and they'll give you pieces of broken tile. They'll just hand it to you. I don't care if these match. It doesn't matter to me. So I'm not going to be using these because these are beige. And I don't want beige unless it's going to be on the... Here's a little piece that came off of something. Now see how low that is. That's really low compared to these others. Look at the height of this and the height of this. There's a big difference in height. What I'll probably do is I can put some mastic down here, like at a, a, a blob of it, and let it dry. And then put the mastic on the back of this and then put it on here and it'll be about the right height. That's one of the tricks I've learned. I used to use double-sided tape, like two pieces of double-sided tape will, will do it too. It's an ugly piece of tile. I can use it somewhere. <laughs> Here's a nice piece of rock tile. I don't know, is that dark enough? Not really dark enough. I want it really dark compared to or bright. Dark or bright. Like that one might be all right. But I need to obviously break it. I don't want it nice and perfect like that. But these with, that have a final edge on the edge, I might put them up here at the top to give a more flat edge at the top. But then again, like I say, I'm just playing around with it. Um, there's another piece of dark. This. And then these will all stand out. So I've got to come up with four things to say. So this side is going to say read more. And then I might want to do some in Spanish because it's a very Hispanic um, city. So lots of people speak Spanish here. So that might be kind of fun. <laughs> it's a piece of, here's a piece of plaid. I got this at the dollar store plate or bowl or something for like a dollar. I love finding things that were part of my family, you know, things that I remember, plates and things. Like this gray, boy, we, we've had a lot of this gray tile, or gray dishes over the years. I like not having to throw them out. It's kind of nice not having them, then you could look at, it's like when you make a quilt. This is a lot, I guess a lot like making a quilt, where you... You save scraps from your from your hat family. Here's a yellow, but with some brown on it. That might be okay as long as I, you know, use it some creative way. Again, it's got a lot of brown. In it. Anyway, so what will happen is then once I got these grouted with white. Then I'm going to go and grout the other stuff, and it doesn't matter too much if it blends too much. With this, I bought a, I had to buy this because I was all out. This is charcoal. It's grout. Yeah, there it is. Charcoal. And then I'll put that in there around it. And then you just let it dry. And... You keep piling it on until you get it all done. And once it's done, here's a rock, like a rock piece that I found. I threw in the bucket when I was buying all this stuff a couple days ago. Like that, maybe. And then once it's all glued down and then you've grouted it, then what you do is you wait a little bit and then I have sealant that you can put on here to help keep it so that the moisture kind of stays out of it. Again, it's not such a big deal. I mean, this is going to be outside and I don't expect, expect this to last a hundred years or anything. But anyway, so you get the idea a little bit. So I'm looking for ideas of what to say on the other three sides. I was thinking of saying something like um, learn 
um, or, or something of the sort. You can also do pretty patterns. Like I can make like, take a bunch of pit, um, tiles and make it like a flower or something. Or I found some tiles and I've used them mostly in the kitchen. You can find tiles that have pretty designs like the flowers or you can find them that have something sweet. I used to buy tiles I'd find somewhere that had, there were little tiny, um, oh, I don't know, like I have like a car or I have like a piece of, um, um, you know, just different things that you find in places. There's a beautiful piece of tile. This is actually just uh, the saucer that this cup sat in, I think. Isn't that gorgeous with the little gold trim on the top? Why make it go to waste? I had a plate of presidents. It was all presidents, so <laughs> I cut out, broke up some of the presidents. Some of them were cut right in half of their face. Some of the presidents I didn't like very much, so I just kind of broke those in half and just left kind of the shape of their face on there. <laughs> Here's one that had, from Arkansas, it was a like a hot... Uh, you put your hot pan on or something like that. So I think that I'll take the back of that off. And I think that'd be quite funny. The razor back. I like that, that hopefully, at least on my kitchen, someday I'll have people come over and uh, they'll come in and they'll look and they'll say, Oh, I see an owl over there. Oh, wow. Look, that's a, that's a, a president. Oh, look, what's that? Here's, here's part of a president. <laughs> So, like, it would go like this. Try, I try not to get the pieces too close together as far as um, too many colors the same in one area. Okay, and that's basically what it looks like whenever, you know, I'm working on it. And I'll be out here working on this until something happens where I have to go inside because it's cold. Because it's, it's, it's nice and warm out, but the problem with it is is that... It's only warm in the sun, and it just rained yesterday. So, um, I answered all my emails I think I need to answer. I'm sure there's a lot of things that are waiting for me in the house that need to be done. I have some articles I need to write, but, you know, here's the milk duds. And <laughs> I have popcorn, and... I have Diet Dr. Pepper, so, you know, I'm good for hours. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You guys, I hope I hope I inspire you to, to uh, work on some of those projects you've been meaning to work on. And maybe read more. Read more. <laughs> um, I really want to get rid of books and things. I know I, I that sounds awful, but I've got so many children's books. And I've got so many things in my house that I've just got to start unloading and and I just psychologically don't want to take them to um a goodwill or anything like that and I there's no children in my family there's none no one not even in the neighborhood really so there are some but not many hopefully we'll inspire people to come by and 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 pick up books and things like that but psychologically I just can't get rid of stuff Unless I feel like I'm doing it in small doses like this. I, I think I'll be able to empty my, um, a lot of cupboards with stuff. So I'll, I'll keep you guys abreast. I hope you enjoy these kinds of things. But I like being able to look back on these videos myself too. And think about what I was thinking at the time and why. All right. Have fun.